Do you believe that man is basically good or basically evil? That's kind of a random question. Well, I've been thinking about how in general people will say that mankind is basically good. But then you have the flip side and some people say mankind is basically evil. I guess you're gonna have to look in the Bible. There's a lot of pages in there. Well, that's why we have Grudem's Systematic Theology. It should be in there. Where though? There's a lot of big words that I don't understand. Well, we could check a pastor's life and see. It doesn't exist. It does now. Hello there, I'm Aiden and welcome to A Pastor's Life for Me. Today, we're looking at the doctrines of man. In other words, anthropology. I think part of the way that we should start off describing man is whether or not they're subscribed to this channel and have liked this video. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. You should do that. We're gonna do things a little bit backwards today. We're gonna start off by defining it and then we're gonna expand on it. Reason for this is because it'll lead to questions for our next definition video. Anthropology, the study of man, both mankind as a whole and man as an individual. This includes origin and creation, being made in the image of God, how mankind is different than the rest of creation. What does it mean to be male and female? Mankind before the fall and mankind after the fall. What is the nature of man? Is man morally good or is man morally evil? Why is man sinful? How can a person be saved? What will man's nature be like after death or after Christ returns? Anything that has to do with man or mankind falls into this category. Whether that's explaining why the way we are or how we interact with God, from facts to philosophy about it, it all falls into this category of the doctrine of man, anthropology. So there's a definition that somewhat categorizes this doctrine. Now, like I said in our last ology definition video, these theology categories have a ton of overlap. This one is no different. If we were to break this doctrine down point by point, we would see that it includes all other doctrine categories. Like I said in our very first definitions video, all theology tells us something about God or something about us. Mankind was created in the image of God. This speaks about the doctrines of God, God the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Mankind fell when they disobeyed against God in the Garden of Eden, the doctrines of sin. Fallen mankind is in desperate need of a savior, the doctrines of salvation. What will man's nature be in heaven? The doctrines of the end times. That there is a huge spectrum. And that's not even with getting into it, like at all. To study man, one must look at man's beginning and end, everything in between. We were perfect in the garden, free from sin and in a perfect relationship with God. Mankind fell in Adam's disobedience and that nature still plagues us today. But when we die, we will be made like Christ, perfect and free of sin forever. So anthropology is how man came to be and what is man's nature throughout all time. But unfortunately, Man's nature is no longer good, but corrupt. Our moral nature is one that rebels against God and who he is. But this is where we transition into our next ology video, Hamartiology, the study of sin. But first, hope. Though we are in this state of rebellion, it was at that time Christ died for us. And that's why we started with soteriology, the doctrine of salvation, because all of this should bring us back to the gospel. Every definition, every video, everything should bring us back to Christ. Because of Christ's work on the cross, when those who are saved get to heaven, they will possess an even greater nature than Adam and Eve had in the garden. But in order to find out why, you'll have to watch our next definition video. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. We have recently launched our new merch store and you should totally check it out. The link for that is in the description. If you would like to support us in the ministry that we do here, you can do that through buying merch or support us on Patreon. The link's in the description. So until next time, we've got to remember to know the word, do the word, and share the word. But as always, we do it in love. <laughs>